Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Buenas tardes todos. This is a class for Yoga Life San Kugat, going live. Thanks for joining. Let's begin by crossing our legs at the middle of your shin bones, the tibias. Bring your hands slightly behind you. And with the tips of your fingers, press down into the floor. Lengthen, lift the sides of the chest up. And rotate your upper arms out in such a way that your shoulder blades are uh, firmly pulled in towards the back, toward the front of your chest. Good, and then allow the arms to go out to the sides and release, join your palms together at the center of your heart. Allow your eyes to close. Please join me for the sound OM together three times. Exhale the breath first completely. Inhale deeper. Om. Om. Exhale, bow your head, lower your hands onto your front thighs, bow your feathers and hands. Raise your head with your eyes still closed. And gently allow your eyes to open now from the back. Okay, let me just check quickly if the visibility is good. Yeah, it looks fine, Jordi. Yep, on the computer. Okay. Yes, great. You will need a block, so please find your block, everybody. Take the block in your hands. Holding the block between your two hands, bring your block in front and extend your arms on the sagittal plane of your body. So, this plane, in front. Now hold the block today, instead of just pressing into it, you're actually going to hold and pull a little bit with your fingers, like you're trying to stretch the block, like you're trying to lengthen it. And then slowly bring the arms up above your head as you do so. So firm the triceps in, turn them in, and then reach the arms up with the block above your head. This is Urdhva Hastasana. Keep the feet in Tadasana, keep the fronts of the thighs pressing back. Bend your elbows, bring your block in front of you. And then let's do that one more time. Same action, pulling on the block like you're trying to stretch it, like you want to make it longer. Bring your arms forward. And then bring your arms up above your head. Good, and slowly release. Bring the block down, rest for a few moments. Okay, let's put it to the side, Tadasana. Bring your right leg up in front of you, so you're standing on your left leg, finding the balance, level your pelvis so that it's fairly uh, square, square, it's looking ahead. Turn the right knee to the side, use your hand to bring the foot up high against the groin of the left. With your pelvis still square, this is important, Allow this inner groin to release toward the side, any amount. Good, then bring your palms together at the center of the chest. And then raise your arms slowly up. So you can keep the arms together, or you can keep them apart a little bit. If you're keeping them apart, imagine you still have the block between your hands and you're pulling the block apart to bring your shoulder blades in, triceps in. If your arms can come together, pull, push them together, but fit, still firm the triceps in and arms go way up. And out of it, three pose. Good, release the arms and legs simultaneously to the floor. And onto the second side, pick up the left leg, turn the knee out, place the foot against the root, root of your right leg. 
And again, palms come at the heart. Level your pelvis. Inner left knee back. The standing leg foot is in Tadasana. This leg is in Baddha Konasana. And then let's elevate the arms nice and slow. Again, your arms can be apart or they can be together. If they're apart, turn your triceps in and lift like you're lifting imaginary block and you're pulling in that imaginary block apart and up. Relax the throat, look straight ahead. Good, bring the palms back to center and lower both the leg and the arms. Tadasana. All right, let us take a block again. And then this time you're going to take the block, put it in between your inner uh, thighs like this. Let's say just the width of the narrow block. And I'm some distance from the wall. All right, so if I turn this way, you're going to be leaning your sacrum against the wall, right? So I just want to show you the side view. So sacrum against the wall, feet about a foot and a half away from the wall. So sacrum touching, let's bend our legs and then bring those arms up above our head. Utkatasana. So now your upper back isn't leaning. So don't touch your upper back so much to the wall right now. Just lean forward a little bit and instead bring your upper arms in and up. Bring your triceps in and towards your nose. Good. Maintain that. Take the shoulder blades and head to the wall. Arms straight up. Your thumbs will touch the wall. If your arms are really, really extended, the thumbs, those full guys, deveria tocar el padre. Right, so touch the wall. Sit down a little bit more and reach the arms up, become longer. Good, and release, come up. Now, without the block. So I'm going to show again now the side view. Still keeping the legs slightly apart, bring the arms forward, bend the knees as you do so, lower back long, and then take the arms. Turn your triceps in towards the nose and up. Take the arms back. Outer arm forward, uh, bicep back. Look up, maybe join your palms together. Utkatasana. Exhale, down with the hands. Uttanasana. Fingertips on the floor. Let's start with the concave spine. So look forward. So lengthen the sternum away from the front thighs. Press the front of the thighs away, away from the chest. So make sure the sacrum is going down and into the body. Don't let the sacrum puff up. And compact the outer heels. And as you do that, notice the effect on your pelvis. As the outer and inner ankles and heels become compacted, feel also what's happening in the pelvic uh, floor of the body. Kneecaps lifted. Good. Now, bend both legs, lower your um, hands to the floor, step the legs back into Adho Mukha Svanasana. So from here, turn your triceps in towards the face again. Similar, same work. It hasn't changed. Just like you did in Utkatasana with the block. Remember? Same work with the arms. Triceps in the shoulder blades. Spread and move forward into the chest. Chest toward the legs, el pecho, así a las piernas y a las piernas atrás. Abra el parte de posterior de las piernas. Sitting bones ascending, heels well grounded on the floor. El pujo, los talones profundo. Then release, bend your knees. Come onto your arms and knees for a moment. Take a look, see that your shoulders are right above your wrists. And then from here, we're going to take uh, plank pose, la plancha. So you're going to extend one leg back and then the other, keeping the shoulders over the wrists. Straight legs. And so this is a little bit of a, to, a warm up stage to, uh, to heat the body up. So let's hold the plank just for some time. With your head length and forward, press your thighs back top of the buttocks towards your heels. Continue lifting the sides of your navel up. Los lados de ombligo arriba y adentro. Adentro tu cuerpo. 
Good. Now, don't change anything in the arms. Sin cambiar nada en los brazos y los hombros. Gira las piernas. Y pon la pierna izquierda encima de la e, e, interna parte del tobillo derecho. Put your feet in, in line together. Keep your tailbone moving in. Push into the floor away. Turn your chest to face the floor. So this is Pajra Adho Mukha Dandasana, side plank. Twist in the plank. Back to center and onto the other side. So now the body will want to follow naturally the legs. So don't allow to keep the condition of the chest still facing forward. Only turn the legs and the knees and feet. Keep the legs straight. Coxies adentro. Good, go back to center. And Adhamukha Shwanasana, a better love. Uttanasana, de nuevo, pies adelante. Y this time, vamos a cruzar los brazos y agarrar los codos opuestos. Hold your opposite side of the arms. Keep the kneecaps lifted so the abdomen can relax. It's very important. When the legs are not fully stretched, the abdomen and organs internally do not let go. So let's check, are your, are your legs tightly lifted? Are your organs able to release and let go? Let your head hang, so the crown, la coronilla de cabeza, mira, mira abajo, hacia el suelo. Y poco a poco vamos a salir. Push your hands against your thighs, come up halfway, and up all the way. Tadasana. Sorry about this camera thing. Still thinking. Okay. All right. Now, step the legs apart wide. Separa las piernas. And the arms as well. With the arms wide, open the chest. Turn your left foot a little, turn your right leg and foot a lot, 90 degrees. Unkita Trikonasana, triangle pose. Keep the extension of the arms, keep the extension of the spine. Take the right hand down on the straight leg. Left arm goes up. Turn your head, look up at the left arm. Keep reaching with the top hand. Keep really rooting down into the back foot, don't lose that. Keep this growing soft, the front leg. And check the tail, comprobar su coccyx. Si está adentro, llevar el coccyx adentro más. Abra el pecho. Inhala arriba. Cambiamos las piernas. Change sides. Exhala. Turn your head and then look. Good, back to center, inhale, stand with your feet parallel, and hands down, step the legs together. For the next pose, I'm gonna show a, a special way using a prop to help us release the groin of the leg. So please find a chair. If you do not have a chair, a yoga chair like this, it's okay, you don't need to have a regular chair, normal chair, a yoga chair. You can just take an, any chair you have or a stool or like a, from the coffee table, one of those soft ottomans. So just so that you can put your leg on top. So let's turn the right leg out and place it up on the seat of the chair. Again, check to see that your pelvis is still facing squarely, straight ahead. So this is important. So see that you're not doing this. Right, see this is how the body naturally wants to turn toward the bent leg. So stand up and the bent leg, the right leg buttock bone should be, this one should be descending down toward the floor. This inner groin should be opening. So for this inner groin to soften, press the outer edge of the foot more down, the little toe side. Put your hands still at your hips, let the chest become taller. 
Keep releasing this inner knee towards the outer knee. The left leg is here as Tadasana, standing leg. So stand tall, stand firmly on that leg. And release. Let's take the chair around the mat onto the next side. So left leg is up. And again, be careful that you, not, you're not turning your whole body, your pelvis. So you're still facing squarely towards the front of the room. You can take your left hand now on the top of your left thigh, thumb behind, externally rotate, help with your own hand physically, manually rotate the leg, press into the seat of the chair with your left foot. Press the little toe side of the foot down. Lift up, become taller. So maintain more or less 90 degree in this knee. And then let this inner thigh soften. So the inner groin has to move towards the inner knee this way. Right? And the outer thigh in at the same time, it compacts. Good, and release. Let's once again take the leg, uh, sorry, the chair out. And then, uh, actually, we're going to turn, sorry, the chair now this way. And watch, you're going to bring now the, the leg, the bent leg, in such a way that the back of the knee can relax and hook on the back of the chair. And now, if my leg is longer, which it is, the chin bone, the, shin, uh, the, 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 the tibia is longer, I let my foot hang under. You see, and it can then step on the bar. Or if you have a regular chair, it doesn't matter. Now, this leg will go a little bit to the side. You see, it's a little slowly open the inner right groin. The foot can hang, it's fine, or stay. And now extend those arms. It's like a modified warrior two. As you can see, press down firmly into that back heel. Standing foot. And hands go back to your hips. Keep the chest lifted. Keep releasing, externally rotating that right leg out. Right outer hip in and carefully stand on the chair seat to come out. Let's bring the chair around on the side. Again, see that you're squared away, facing directly forward. Allow the back of the knee to go on top of that bar of the chair. If you're taller, like me, you're gonna take this foot more out. If you're not so tall, you can be more upright, more perpendicular on this side. Groin of the left leg externally rotating, opening, and the arms extend. So it's like a very simplified or, or modified warrior too. Feel how much pressure more is on the back foot. I'm talking about the back leg, the extended leg. That's how it should be in warrior two as well. All right, so don't overstress this knee. Good to come out, bring that foot back on the chair seat, and carefully come back now. All right, now let's bring the chair again to the other side, first side. And now we're going to take a longer stance. Carefully bring the foot on the front edge of the chair. From here, let's bend the right leg until you create a 90 degree angle in this knee. Again, careful not to let the knee go forward. Take your hand, externally rotate this leg out, forming a 90 degree angle. This back leg press firmly. Okay, I found them. Deeply push the heel down. And now let's bring this arm up and on top of that right thigh. Right? Lift the chest. And now extend this arm down in front of the leg and touch the chair seat with the fingertips of the hand. Take this other arm up and keep the arm up, turn it in and bring it overhead. And now we end partial konasana. We keep the partial konasana. Keep lifting the sides of the chest, both right and left. Press into the standing leg foot more. You can even flex this foot. Keep the area of the inner right thigh growing soft. Inhale and come up. Release it. Change the chair position. Okay, other side, step the legs apart. Carefully pick up your left leg, bring it to the chair seat. Give yourself optimal distance between the legs. And if you're taller, you're gonna have more distance. Spread the legs apart. Keep the heel of the left foot with the arch of the right foot. And then slowly start bending this leg. 
As you do so, externally rotate this left leg out. Press the front of the right thigh up and back. So don't let that right thigh go forward. Take the left arm up above your head, lengthen. Inhale, normal exhale. Put your left forearm above the knee. Push down, lift the side chest up. This hand can stay here for now. And then the other arm now extends down toward the seat of the chair. Just touch the fingertips. You don't need to go so low. Just touch the fingers to the floor of the chair. And then the other arm goes forward and up. Extra internal rotation on that right arm. And look up towards the elbow. Keep pressing firmly into your standing leg foot. The back leg heel. Turn spiral your chest and come up. Carefully dismount from the chair. Tadasana. Okay, let's just take the chair to the side of the mat again. Placing the palms of our hands on the, the heel of the palms, right on the front edge of the chair. And step the legs away from the chair. And take this kind of stylized Adhamukha So you're not pushing so much down forward with the chair, you're pushing down into the chair. Shoulder blades in. Abdomen in and up. Let your head hang loosely. Good, then release. Well, move the chair out of the way now. All right, step the legs again wide apart. You may need to use the block, so have it just in case behind your right foot. Turning the right leg out completely 90 degrees, turning the left foot a little bit. Let's take the arms wide again. Veena Madrasana, warrior two. And then bend that right leg. And bend deeply. When you bend the leg, this hip tends to go back. Bring it forward and down. Left outer hip down. So it descends. This body bone should descend. Externally rotate both the legs. Place the forearm on the right leg. Pressing against the right leg, lift the chest again, lift your head. Good, now take the arm down onto the block. Bring this arm in front of you like we did earlier with the block. Internal rotate and then take the arm straight up, up, up above you. Turn your head to look up at that left arm. Ujjita Pajvakonasana, breathe. Now press firmly into the bottom leg, heel, the back leg. Pressing into the heel, now extend away from that heel. How much room can you get here? Elongate the lower side of the back. This is Pajvakonasana, extended side angle pose. Become longer on that upper side. Inhale, to come up. Parallel your two feet. Turning the legs around. Turn your right toes in and the left leg to the left. Arms go up. And as you bend the leg, take care that this hip doesn't kick to the side. So keep the hips level, parallel, level with the floor as you bend the leg. External rotate the legs, you can use your hands. You get the bone and the muscle of the leg to turn outwards. Buttocks descend. Let's now get back. Coccyx, yeva, arriva. Take it forward. I mean, not adentro, but pero, not ahí. Y brazos fuera, exhale, elbow to the knee. The other arm goes in and up. And you can stay here or take the arm to the outside of your foot. Take the final stage of the pose. Parshvapanasana, turn your head to look up at the arm. Extend away from the arm. Maintain weight on that back leg, just like you did when you stood up on the chair. Remember that bottom leg was more heavy, more dominant. So keep this skin and groin soft and moving towards the knee. To come up, you're going to turn, inhale, come up and out. Parallel your feet and either jump or just bring your legs together by stepping them. Tadasana. Stand straight and tall. Downward facing dog, Adamukha Svanasana. Good. 
take a slow motion plank. Knees either straight or bent. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Turn your upper arms out, shoulder blades forward and in. Press the tops of the feet, lift the kneecaps. Buttocks firm, look up. Exhale back to downward facing dog, curl your toes under and go up. Let's step the right leg to the front. Not a very huge stance, moderate distance. The heel of the foot in the front should be in line with the heel of the foot in the back. Press the weight into the back foot, Parshvottanasana. Look forward. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Parivrita Trikonasana. So turn that left foot out more, the back foot, and bring this hand either on the block or floor outside your leg. And then turn, twist your body to the right. Shoulder blades into the chest, head back. Good, release the arm. Step the leg back. Look forward, bring your left leg in front between your hands. Heel of the front foot in line with the heel of the other foot. Or heel to arch. Parshvottanasana. Right now the hips are more squared. So keep turning that back leg, thigh in. And the front leg, press the inner inseam of the foot more into the floor. Look up, inhale. And now take your right hand to the outside of your foot. So we're not, not finishing the full pose. We're only doing the partial, uh, a concave stage of Parshvottanasana. Now we're going into Parivrita Trikonasana. Turn that back foot more out to level the pelvis. And then turn your chest, turn your shoulders. Take the arm up if you can. And then maybe let your head follow the arm and look up. Inhale. Exhale, lower the arm, bend the knee. Plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Child's pose. Sit back until your shoulder, I mean, until your hips are resting and put in contact with your heels. And slowly come up. Release. Let's come back to standing, everybody. Look good. All right. Step the legs apart. coming to the middle of your mat. Prasarita Padottanasana. So bring your arms out wide, classical pose. If you can take the arms behind you, bring them behind your back into a reverse namaste. So hands like this behind your heart. Join your palms any way you can. If your hands do not connect together, then make fists and put one fist against the other. Lift your chest, inhale. Look upwards at the ceiling. Shoulders back. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Keep your legs straight. Come forward halfway. And then keep lifting the kneecaps. Legs are straight. Come down all the way down. If you cannot maintain this pose, just bring the hands to the floor. Allow the crown of the head to completely drop toward the floor. So come up. Push with the feet, pull up with the chest. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. Turn to your right again. Parshvottanasana again, classical pose with the hands in the same place, same position. Straighten the back leg, inhale. Exhale, go forward, go down. Then from here, we're going to take a step closer with the back leg and come into a warrior three with the hands in this position. Keep the front leg bent, take the top leg up, shoulders back, and extend, take the chest forward, breathe. This, this position of the hands helps us keep our chest lifted, right? 
Abdomen up. Good, then slowly step back, back to the floor. Turn your legs around to the other side. Harshvottanasana, inhale, press firmly into the heel of the back leg foot. Exhale, fold forward. Let your head and neck release, shoulders roll back. Inhale, come up. Bend the knee. And shift forward. Slowly keep your pelvis parallel and come into Warrior Three with the hands in Paschima Namaskarasana. Abdomen in into the spine. Back down. Come up. Release your hands slowly. Shake your hands a little bit. Bring your feet together. Tadasana. Uttanasana, feet hip width apart. Raise your arms and actually slide your hands under your feet. Hastapadasana. So standing on the feet, if you need to bend your legs more to get there, bend the knees so you can get the entire palm of your hand under your feet. Stretch the chest forward. Straighten your arms, straighten your legs. So feel the wrist now getting massaged and the reverse flexion of the wrist, opposite of the last pose. And then to commit, come out to finish the pose, the final stage, bend your elbows out and spread your elbows and shoulder blades apart from the chest. Open the collarbones, las clavículas abiertas, homoplatos abiertas. Inhale, come up. Free your palms and hands to your thighs, standing. Tadasana. Good. Uh, from here, we're going to take Shirshasana. If you do not practice headstand, you don't want to do headstand today, that's fine. You can simply, uh, if you have a chair like this, you can go inside the chair and do a back bend inside the chair, like this. So, Vipana Viparita Dandasana, si no tienes, si no, si no practicando, Shashasana. Alright, for those of you who, who, who can, please follow me into Shashasana, head balance. Place your elbows and wrists into the floor, onto the blanket. Place the top of the head onto the floor with the back of your head into your palms. Slowly lift your shoulders. Find the crown of the head, find the center, walk your legs in. Keep pressing into your elbows, lifting your shoulders. Walk your feet a little farther apart. And then let's try to come up into the pose this way today with the legs wide apart. Press into your elbows, wrists, and let your legs open wide. And bring the legs together. Turn your legs in to face the front of the room. Continue lifting your shoulders and press so much with your forearms and your wrists down so that your shoulder blades automatically move in more into the chest. Con mucha presionat, con los antebrazos y muñecas, llevar los homoplatos más adentro, más adelante, profundo. Relax your eyes, relax your temples. If you're on the chair, you can stay in the pose a little bit longer. You can bend your knees and you can come up if you need to rest. And then you can go back down one more time. We'll stay for two more minutes together in whichever pose you have chosen. Lifting your shoulders, turn your upper arms in, open the armpit chest. Good. 
Let your eyes be soft, like in Shavasana. And the spine and the legs are lifting up away from the shoulders, away from the ground. Extend, extend. Estirar las piernas, alargar, alargar la espalda. And then now preparing to come out. Let's try to come out the same way. It's a little bit more advanced, of course. If you need to come down with the legs bent like this, it's okay. But those of you who can, let's try to go out with the legs out wide. Like Upavishta Konasana or Sama Konasana. Legs externally rotate. And then slowly bring them closer together and let them land. Knees bent and we come down. Rest, let your forehead completely rest on the floor, hips onto your heels, relax, recover for some time. Recuperas. And then from here, you will take again downward facing dog. Adho Mukhashwas. Press the palms of your hands into the floor. Press the fronts of your thighs back away from the floor. And away from the chest. Chest is moving in direction of your pelvis. Up, not down. Good. Walk the legs forward. Come. Okay, let us have a seat, everyone. So sit down in Dandasana with the legs straight in front of you. Press the palms of your hands into the floor. Bend your left knee to the side. Keep the left knee externally rotating. Use your fingers of the hand to roll the flesh of the thigh of the left leg out. Gire la pierna izquierda fuera. Rotation, rotation externa. And then from here, turn towards the straight leg. Girando el tronco hacia la pierna derecha. Brazo izquierda arriba. Keep pressing this knee down. Inhale. Exhale, go forward. If your leg doesn't touch your, if your hand doesn't hold and reach your foot, please take a strap. So you can hold the strap. But this hand hold, lift the chest, become tall. Jan Shishasana. Inhale. Exhale, go forward a little bit more. Now reposition your hand so that each hand catches each respective side of your foot. Exhale, go lower. Continue turning the torso toward the front leg. Good to come out, straighten the arms, come back up, bring this knee back to center, Dandasana. Other side, pull your right knee out to the side, Jan Shirshasana. Sit straight. Keep pressing that outer right thigh and knee back and out away from your straight leg. Press the left hand into the floor, raise your right arm above your shoulder. Inhale, exhale, go forward. Hold the outside edge of the foot, the little toe. Press down with the left hand and lengthen, great lift on both sides of your chest. Both sides of the arm, but as equal as possible. Inhale, exhale, continue going forward. Reposition your hand and hold with both hands. Keep pressing the right knee into the floor. Turn your spine, your chest towards the front leg and extend forward toward that foot. Inhale, rise back up, release. Let's take both the legs out to the sides and the corners of our mat. So with the legs wide apart, at least 90 degrees or more, bring your hands behind you, press down into the palms of your hand, lift the chest, 
Estirar la espalda, estirar el tronco. You come forward, lift it. And then the front of the thigh should descend towards the back of the thigh. Back of the leg should broaden and open. Abra la posterior parte de los muslos, las rodillas, las gemelas. And then from here, let us turn slowly and revolve towards our left leg first. Turn to the left, y de la izquierda. And then bring the right arm up. Catch the foot, turn again. Harshwa upavishta konasana. Keep the legs straight. Turn, gire más. Y mientras girando, estire más. While turning, revolve and lengthen. We then from here go forward and lie down over the front leg. Any amount, if you need to support your head, you can always put a block there. If you don't, simply bring your chest and forehead to the shin. Come back up onto the other side. Parshva Upavishta Konasana. Turn your body until you're facing the straight leg on the right. Inhale. Exhale, extend. Allow this body bone to come up a little bit. The sit bone, the ischial tube, should come up a little bit so you can catch the leg. And then from here, turn. Girando más. Y estire más. Arriba. Y adelante. Both hands hold, connect the foot, and then bend your elbows out to the side to proceed deeper into the pose. Thumb up. Bring yourself back to center. Please take your a block or two blankets. So maybe block is better because it's more a firm support. So you're going to put a block there behind yourself. All right, and then please take a belt. Toma un cinturón y hace un nudo con tu cinturón. So please make a loop, large loop, grande. El diámetro como las doble de tus hombros, más o menos. Yeah, so double. And then you're going to have a seat on top of the block. And bring your knees apart and your legs and feet together. Take the belt around the back of your sacrum. Cinturón de atrás. Y entre las piernas. Y debajo de las tobillas. So you're going to now bring your feet closer. Tighten the belt. Please tighten the belt. Then please have a couple of blankets, one on each knee. The idea why we have blankets is so that, and make sure the belt is low on your sacrum. The idea is so that your weight of the legs is supported by a little bit by uh, something underneath it. So these can let go. Take your hands here again. And turn, gire, girando las piernas, las muslos. Uh, fuera. Turn your thighs from inside out and externally rotating the legs, take the knees in the direction away from the pubis. This way. Keep externally rotating, sit straight and tall. Take the arms up overhead, and you can be leaning against the wall. Contra la pared, con los brazos, con los, la, la espalda. Estirando arriba, turn your triceps in, estire más. Become as tall as you can be. And release. Okay, now we're going to loosen up this belt. Take your feet outside of the belt. Okay, now let's lie down on our back. Sutta Padanushtasana is next. So um, please lie down, take your strap, and 
and straightening the left leg completely on the floor, bring your right leg into the strap. Con pie derecho contra el cinturón. Estira la pierna completamente. 90 grados. Open the chest, outer shoulders down. Chest well spread and lifted. Press the front of the left leg down. Press the front of the right leg away from you and the femur into the socket. Okay, and now we're going to take the same leg to the right, lateral. So holding the strap only with the right arm, slowly take that right leg to the side. Be careful not to let the pelvis spill. So it's not this. Don't take the leg so far so this hip comes up. Left hip stays level on the floor. The right arm can be bent. The left arm can extend by your side, or you can go to the other side. Keep reaching out for the mound of the right big toe, and keep continue pressing the left femur in, down into the ground. Good, and then let's bring the leg back up, and bajar la pierna. Change. Vamos a cambiar más piernas. So now, second side, your left leg will come up into the left. Look. And the other leg is completely straight. Pull on the leg. So you're not pulling so much toward you. You're pulling down into the hip socket to level, to keep the femur head in the socket. La cabeza de femur adentro, adentro de tu pelvis. Keep the other leg also grounded and fully extended. Abdomen suave. Y la pierna izquierda lateral, dirección lateral, fuera. So now you can bring the leg higher, closer to you. Un poco más arriba, más cerca de tu hombro izquierdo. Focus on this area to remain soft. Yeah, the groin of the left leg now should be relaxed, not hard. Abdomen should turn from right toward the left, from left toward the right. Good. Slowly return your leg back up. Regresamos. Salimos. Now have a look. Now you will take your two or three blankets. Take as much as you need to. I have two, so I'm going to triple, triple fold the blankets, make them thicker for that reason. Don't have enough. So I build them up at the proper, some approximate height that I think I need in order to support my leg properly. So I'm going to turn my mat diagonally so that you can see the more optimal, optimal angle here. Mirando, por favor. Mirad. So this is for my knee and my uh, shin bone. My foot is going to be hanging. So I'm going to go like this. Lying down. You see, this foot, the foot can hang down on the floor, towards the floor. Then this bottom leg straight like chaturanga, leg engaged. And this inner groin soft, and then the outer thigh, outer femur, head of the femur should go in and down. This body not up, but down this way. And then lengthen, and then relax. You can bend your elbows and simply support your forehead like this on your bent and crossed arms. So this is a sort of a passive releasing of the groin of the, the, the left leg right now. Vamos a empezar todos. So put something under your knee, a couple of blankets or bolsters, and the other leg is extended and it's active, straight. The toes, los dedos de otra pie, uh, flex. Coccyx down, in. Axis abajo y adentro. Hacia el pubis, hacia el suelo.
Eh, y vamos a cambiar poco a poco, levántense. Let's change sides. So now the other leg will go on top. Lower yourself down. The knee and the shin is supported. The bottom leg is straight. Lengthen and then release into it. The foot of this leg, the bed leg, can be relaxed. There should be a 90 degree angle here. 90 grados in the rear derecha. Pubis toward the floor, tailbone toward the pubis. Release the inner groin of the right leg and bring the outer femur in. So this is maybe uh, reminding you the some of the actions we did earlier today in the class when we had the standing work done with the chair. Yes, do you remember? It's similar, but now this is more passive. So that the, the deep muscles surrounding the hip can let go and re relax deeply. So the opening is more efficient on the toes. Straighten the back leg. Push the floor with the toes, tailbone in. Femur of the right leg in. Head of the femur. Good. And then slowly you're going to push back and come out. And now watch the next part. You will open up the blankets now to this size, like a rectangular low height. You will take your block again, sit up on your block one more time. Take the looped belt, come with your cinturón, and de nuevo, bata con asana. Right, so we're opening the hips today. You can see this is the, the plan, the theme. I slide the belt, and, and I don't bring it extra tight. So leave a little bit of space here. If you make it super tight, it will be too restricted. So bring the belt down to the middle of your coccyx behind you. So it should be not here, right? But it's more here at the sacrum. And now watch how I get, get into it. Mira, por favor, ahora, solo mira. It's a little bit tricky. So I'm going to press my toes toward the floor, you see? And I come up onto my toes and my hands in front. And then I'm going to let my knees separate and then make sure the blanket's under the knees, otherwise it's hard on the floor, uh, on the hard floor. Now my toes point back. Now toes now point back. And then from here, I let my knees separate any amount. And I come to my elbows. Baja los brazos, los antebrazos en el suelo. And then you can stay here, so you can begin now. And if you want to go further, you may be able to go even more down into your forehead like this, and feet down and the pelvis down. Adho Mukha Supta Vada Konasana. So Adho Mukha is facing down. So we're using the floor, using, using gravity to open the pelvis here, right? So this should descend as much as possible. But it's down. So mine is not so open, not completely. I'm not able to get my pelvis to touch the floor. Some of you with very open hips may be able to do so. Everybody has different ability when it comes down to pelvic floor and hips, rotation of the hips. One last minute in the pose. If you're still in the pose, stay. If you need to come out, you're going to come out. To come out, be careful. Push back up in the same way you got into the pose. Same way. Back into your toe tips. And then sit back down on that block. Good, and then now we're going to go forward, come down off the block. Remove it, the block. Supta Vada Konasana, Boca Arriba. Now we look down, I mean look up at the ceiling. Continue pressing the heels together, los talones, empuje contra una la otra. Y brazos arriba, cruce los brazos si quieres, can turn, cross them, or keep them straight. And relax your throat, relax your abdomen. So, Tabada Konasana. Jordi, can you please tell me what time it is? I don't have my clock on me today. Uh, five minutes to, nine, to eight. Thank you.
If your arms are crossed, straighten them, and let's cross the other arm on top. And one more time, bring your arms overhead. Relax your shoulders. You can let your eyes close for another minute here. Keep letting go, keep releasing the inner groins away from each other, knees away from the pubis. If you need to support your thighs, now you can put fists under your legs. Last 30 seconds. To come out from here, you don't need to get up. You can just lift your feet up. Levante los pies. And then libre los pies. Debajo de cinturón. Okay, but Let's come out, turn to the side, to come up. The next pose is Setubanda Sarvangasana. So Setubanda is a supported, supported version of the bridge. I'm turning my mat around one more time. Take a few more. Take one blanket, put it this way. Take another blanket, double it. The doubled one is going for the shoulders. The one that's not double is for my head only. All right, so from here, I take the strap and take this block. Um, you can also put yourself against the wall, so you can turn your mat around. And if you know you need more support, so your feet will be higher. They could be at the same height as the block. Right, so when you lie down, you could position yourself in such a way that you are doing the pose like this. See, so my legs in this effectively will be parallel with the floor. This is one leg. Now a little bit more advanced and slightly deeper pose will be without the wall on the floor. So I like to use the belt, so please maybe put the strap around now. The upper thighs. Lie down with your shoulders on the thick folded blanket and the head falling farther away from the second side. Then I'm going to press down into my feet and slide the brick right under my pelvis. I'm careful to get my brick to be right on the center of my sacrum. Hold the sides of the sticky mat. Turn the shoulder blades in and under. Let the arms go and then extend your feet. And those of you who choose to be at the wall, your feet will go to the, against the wall, like I showed prior to this. If you don't need the wall, you just go like I did on the floor. Say it to Banda, support the bridge. <clears throat> the feet will be pointing up and the ankles are flexed. Relax the area around the throat. Relax your eyes, your temples, the tongue. <coughs> Sorry. Wall, but it's as close to the wall as possible. Arms relaxed, elbows a bit. That's that. You can have your feet slightly separate or together. Keep the kneecaps lifted and tight. Relax your arms and shoulders. Yeah, Jordi, I don't know. Things are kind of uh, kind of shaky. I don't know with the whole yoga studio business. Did you get any news from the Generalitat of Catalonia, how when things will open up again? No, I, I will come to you later when you finish, okay? So soften the abdomen, soften your throat, spread the toes, spread the mounds of the feet. Take the legs separate apart about 90 degrees or so. And with your hands, press against the front part of your legs, thighs, toward the wall.
Try to get the back of the leg to touch the wall. Good. And then release. Bend the legs. And then turn slowly to the side to come out. Have a seat. And bring a block in front of your cross legs. Adamuka Swastikasana, cross legged. Adjust your body slash back. Then extend your arms forward. Let your forehead be supported by the bricks so of the brain is now falling from the back part of the skull toward the forehead part. Come up, change the crossing of your legs. Next side. And then go forward and down. Come back up, and now Shavasana. You will take one of your blankets, set it up so that you are comfortable for the back of your skull. Sit down first, and then lie back onto your elbows. Extend the lumbar, extend the back. Relax your arms, sit your sides completely. You can also put something on top of your legs or below your knees if you prefer. Let your eyes close and go inwards now. Allow your tongue, allow your jaw to release, relax. The lips to be slightly separate. Allow the eyes to fall back and the entire front body to be feeling supported by your back body. Let your breath become a little slower. So don't increase the volume of the air that you are taking in, but just slow down gradually your inhalations. Also the exhalations. Allow your breathing to become again normal. Bring your palms at the top of your chest. The weight in the skin, the largest organ of our body. Bend your left knee and slowly turn over onto your right shoulder and then remain on it for a few moments longer. Whenever you're ready, press it to the floor with your palm of your hand and come up. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today.